This is just a quick prelude to show you how much noise reduction that this solution provided me. Uh, in the rest of the video until the end, uh, you will hear the white noise that I suffer without this solution. Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how I reduced white noise on my mic pretty much for $35. For some people it could be free depending on the software and hardware setup of your computer, especially if you have a sound card. Uh, as you can hear, there's probably white noise on here because I don't have any of these settings enabled for the purposes of this video, just to show you how much better it will sound without it afterwards and walk you through everything. Uh, what I got for my setup, and it's kind of a Jimmy Rig setup, is this little control panel program right here is for virtual audio cable. And this is where you do all the settings in there. We have TeamSpeak. And so the thing that is not free here is virtual audio cable. You can try this solution for free, but uh, when you do the trial version, there's going to be a female voice on it. So you can see if it will work for you or not, just to test it out at least. So you don't have to buy the program just to see if it works or not. But if you get the full version, you'll take that little female voice out of it that happens every so often. But it's like a $30, $35 program. So what you want to do is go into your control panel for virtual audio cable. Just make sure everything's set up. The biggest thing is to uh, make sure that this line is enabled or mic. Um, it should be by default, but just to make sure it is. And if you need to change anything, make sure to hit set, highlight that, and everything should be good to go. You only need one cable for this. And yeah, this thing's a little confusing. Uh, a lot of this stuff will adjust quality. You can play around with it, but the default settings should be good enough. So we'll not get too far into that. Uh, go ahead and exit out of that when uh, you're done with it. And to make sure virtual audio cable is working right, you want to go into your audio devices. You got your playback and your recording. As you can see on both of them, here it is, the line one from virtual audio cable. And pretty much what this will do is when these are enabled, your playback if line one hears something, it'll push it to the microphone line one for virtual audio cable and vice versa. So it's pretty much a hybrid virtual sound card emulated. Uh, we'll just leave this open for now because we're going to possibly play with that. And the other thing you'll need is TeamSpeak, as I mentioned, uh, because it has some audio filtering things on here, which for some odd reason are not offered for just a plug-in or something that you can right-click here and put in. I don't know why you can't do this. So I just jimmy, jimmy rigged it this way. This is a little idea I had. So what you want to do is go into the settings menu and you want to go to your playback. Uh, this is also assuming you're not using TeamSpeak actively. You could possibly run two TeamSpeaks or possibly find the same solution Ventrilo. I don't know, but this is, uh, will help you to reduce uh, noise for like other streaming programs, like if you're using Open Broadcast or something, if they don't have their own uh, noise reduction, or maybe for Skype or something. But what you want to do is set your playback to line one, and then you want to hit apply. Line one virtual audio cable, play around with your volume settings and everything if you need to, but that's the biggest thing. And then go to capture, uh, leave it on your microphone, put continuous tra uh, transmission, Go to your advanced options, which is where the filters are that we want, and put remove background noise. Uh, just to, sh well, you can already hear me, so I don't need to put an example. So you put in uh, remove background noise, and then you'll do test. Luckily, it didn't echo, thankfully. And what this is doing now is you can see up here, it is actually pushing what it's hearing in TeamSpeak into here with the filters on. So here we go into our recording tab, you can see it getting pushed there too. And you'll want to set line one as your default. And then with TeamSpeak, just to make sure it's out of the way, you don't accidentally close it or anything, you're going to just put that away. And then you can probably close this too. And you could probably go in here and go to sound recorder or something. And you can see it's picking up the sound and you can do yourself a little test. I'm going to stop the video right here. Uh, and then I'm going to apply the settings to recording and you can hear the difference for yourself before going through all this. So as you can hear, this is the settings uh, that I just showed you on my recording. And the white noise that you heard before should be pretty much gone. My voice probably does sound a little bit different, but I don't consider that too big of a deal. It doesn't sound degraded or anything. It just sounds different to me. Another small disadvantage is there's probably a small lag time on the mic, but it's 
probably not a big deal either. At least not for me, it's not. So <clears throat> this is the best solution I've found as all the information I've found is pretty much outdated. If you have your own solutions, uh, please post them in the comments or a video response or something uh, if you already have a video, just to get that information out there uh, because inf finding a reliable, actual working way to get white noise reduction is kind of hard to find, uh, in my experience at least. So please uh, post that stuff. Also, if you liked the video and you found it helpful, please leave a like. And you can also subscribe to my channel uh, in case I come out with uh, anything else helpful for YouTubers or uh, anyone else doing audio, media uh, type stuff. And also have my Let's Play because it's Maxwell's House of Gaming. So thank you for watching.